See Chris Brown, starting third, third four, Wyatt Van Wert. Starting fourth, 56, Derek Lemaire. Starting fifth, 88, Dale Gutierrez. The 84, RK is Ryan Beagle. Number one, Chris Dickey. Number 13, Casey Hoffman. Number 53 is Logan Schwenick. 68 is Jens Mortensen. 911, Nick Liverance. 411, Nick Dennis. 7K, Kevin Coker. 119 is Sean Quinn. 23, Trevor DeBoer. 77, Brent Rodwell. 0X0, Mike Ferguson. And the seven of Jason Laguerre. 18 cars strong. Here we go, 15 laps of distance on feature number one for the Thunder Sox. Race is underway, first of two feature events here tonight. This is group number one. Dave Bailey was quickest overall in time trials, and that put him on the pole for this one. Bailey goes side by side with Chris Crawford down the front stretch on lap one. Chris Crawford had a very good run going in his last race here at O'Shriek in the Brock Leonard Memorial 50 lapper, but unfortunately had some tough luck out there. But he is giving Bailey all he can handle right now at the front of this pack. Then it's Lemaire, Van Wert, and Jacari in the top five. Four Camaros at the front of the field right now. Dale Jacari, the first Monte Carlo, sitting back there in position number five. At the front, side by side, Brewster Baker, Dave Bailey leading the way. But here comes Crawford on the outside. Crawford is not going away despite having to take a little longer route around this speedway. But Bailey fighting off the 4C of Crawford for the moment. Crawford now did lead that lap just by a nose though. Crawford hanging on that higher line. Bailey right where he wants to be right now. Normally a user of the outside line, but tonight he's pinned right down to that block wall. Leads him off a corner four to complete lap number four. So Crawford still there as Bailey retakes the lead in this first of two features. 11 laps to go for Bailey. At the front of this one, Crawford now settles down in the second spot. Then it's Lemaire, Van Wert, and Jacari still in the top five. Then Beagle, Huffman, Dickey, the 53 of, 53 of Schwedek, rather. Behind them, the 411 of Dennis goes for a spin but keeps it going. So Bailey, your leader, Crawford right there in second. Lemaire a little ways back in the third position. Little contact between fourth and fifth is White and Van Wert. And Dale Jacari touched there down in corner number two. Now Van Wart washes up the track in corner three. Jacari will slip down to the inside of the 88. So Bailey sticking to the inside groove here, keeping Crawford at bay, but Crawford hasn't fallen back too far. Then Lemaire, then Van Wart, who's got Dale Jacari all over the tail end of the 04 car. Van Wart doing double duty here tonight in the Thunderstock and the Go Nuclear Late Model. Seven laps on the board. Eight to go with Dave Bailey, your leader. Chris Crawford trying to hold on right now, but that distance between first and second widening a little bit as the Jibs Action Sports car number 49 leads him off a corner four, this time by to the cross flags. Crawford might be starting to catch Bailey just a bit here, and in fact, he does gain a tenth of a second that lap. Now he goes up to the middle groove in one and two, trying to get more of a run, but... Still, it's Bailey holding strong at the halfway signal. Crawford hanging right there, maybe about a car length off the back bumper of Bailey. Now down across the stripe to complete lap number nine, six to go. Good fight right now for third spot. Derek Lemaire has it. Wyatt Van Wart all over his back bumper. He'll slip down to the inside. They'll drop wheel to wheel down the back stretch for position three. Van Wart and Lemaire side by side for third and now Dale Jacari is right there on the tail end of those two as Crawford cuts another actually this time he loses a tenth of a second after he gained it last time by four and a half laps left for your leader Dave Bailey as he works it down the back stretch some lap traffic now appearing for the leaders we'll see if this will play a factor in the finish of this one this time by now it's just four laps to go for Dave Bailey the fight, though, is from third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Boy, they were almost four wide there. Jacari almost got pinched up into the wall. Now here comes Van Wart again to the inside on Lemaire as Bailey now contends with the slower car of Nick Dennis, and Chris Crawford has caught back up to Bailey again. Wyatt Van Wart gets pushed around down in corner four, gathers it back up, and he's got a right rear flat on the 0-4. So Wyatt Van Wart had the right rear go awry. And then the 88 of Dale Jacari with problems down here on the front stretch. So, Tommy, that battle for third, things just changed up big time as Bailey, your leader, Chris Crawford, second. Derek Lemaire, third. Now you've got Ryan Beagle and Chris Dickey, fourth and fifth. 
Here we go again. Jason Lagueros made his way about halfway through the field. Stood at the tail of this one in that seventh car, but up front, Lemaire now dives to the inside on Crawford, trying to take that runner-up spot away. So that will foil things for Crawford as he will have to deal with Derek Lemaire. Going down into corner number three, they're side by side with Dave Bailey out in front. This time by, it's two to go for Brewster Baker, Dave Bailey. Crawford fights off Lemaire, and now he's going after Bailey. Dives it hard into corner one and two, and Crawford is there. Let's see what he can do out of corner two. Down the back stretch they go, and into corner number three. Crawford committed to that middle line right now. He'll look to the outside of the Jibs Action Sport 49. White flag goes up in the air one more time around, and here comes Chris Crawford to the outside. Crawford's been making that middle groove work here, and now he gets to the outside on Bailey. Drag race down the back straightaway. Who's going to win feature number one? Crawford's got a great run on that outside line. He gained time last time around there, side by side off of four. Double checker in the air. Dave Bailey will take the win by a nose over Chris Crawford. Derek Lemaire will be third. Fourth will go to Ryan Beagle and Chris Dickey will bring it home in fifth. So Dave Bailey takes the first feature win of the evening. And Tommy Googe will head down to Mobile One Victory Lane and speak with our winner Dave Bailey. I'll tell you what, Dave Dave won from the pole, but it was not an easy one. As Chris Crawford gave it all he had, looks like we're gonna do both victory lanes together at the conclusion of the second Thunderstock feature. And he will bring it out of turn number four and going for the five big smackers. Double greens in the air. Ryan Den and Carl Salt side by side in the corner number one. You've got the outside invader, Mark Fawcett, there in the 32. Troubles up in corner number one. 40 stopped here in the inside of turn one, trying to gather up a gear. Now he gets going. And off of the fourth turn, leader in lap number one will be Ryan Denning in the number eight car. Carl Salt hanging there in that second spot. Mark Fawcett and Scott McPhail going at it for the third position. You've got Friday night's winner, Jim Lampman, right there now in position five. Lampman working that outside to his perfection, trying to battle a whole bunch of Camaros near the front of this one. And he comes around the 47 XFL ride, but Dinning been oh so quick here in the month of July. Looks like they're about to catch the lap car going down into corner number three. Deliverance number 40 is Steve Haas, who had a great run on Friday night, will take the triple seven X to the pit area. So heartbreaker there for Steve as the leaders now gingerly work by the lap traffic. Denning has to be careful down on the inside. He will slip underneath the 40 machine, works back to the inside of turn number three and four down on the bottom. Also is Carl Salton, the 81. So it's dinning across the line on lap number four. Just 11 laps to go here in this second of the twin 15 features. Dinning has been so dominant here in car number eight, continues it with Carl Salt in second. And it's a long ways back now to McPhail and Fawcett. Dinning been put through the ringers in tech too. They've cam doctored the motor, they rear wheel tied, dynoed it. They've done all kinds of stuff. Every time this eight comes up clean, so it is just the setup and the experience of Ryan Denning. Been kicking around here for about 15 years, working hard to get it together. So Denning and Salt, nose to tail off of corner number four. Now McPhail and Fawcett working through the lap traffic and they'll see if they can close the gap. McPhail has pulled away from Fawcett just a little bit and maybe closing the gap on the top two. Ryan Denning still with the advantage and a one car length lead ahead of Carl Salt, but Salt gets some good drive here off of turn number four in that Pontiac Firebird, and he'll chase after that Chevy Camaro right to the bottom of one and two. Chris Crawford almost made that middle line work. Let's see if Carl Salt has anything for Ryan Denning. If you're going to get Denning on the inside, you're going to have to wait for him to slip, and that doesn't happen very often as car number eight, Ryan Denning, 
has been almost perfect here in 2016. Jennings been running excellent on the inside too. And that doesn't give much room for these guys, as you mentioned, to get below them. They're gonna have to go around the outside, which is slipperier, farther, and longer around. It's time by lap number nine goes on the board. Six left to go. Carl Saul trying to find an advantage. He'll work to the outside of the right rear quarter panel at Denning. He'll drop off of him off a of corner two. Good run by Salt down the back stretch. Salt was near him when it came to the big $2,000 win. Brock Leonard Memorial till he had problems with the car. But as they come back around, Carl Salt just drives around Ryan Denning. We haven't seen that very much at all in 2016. I was gonna say, Clint, I think that might be the first time we've seen anyone get by Ryan Dinning on the outside line. Carl Salt does it. Dinning slipped up a little bit in two and that gives Salt some cushion as now they catch more lap traffic. Four to go now, Salt will work his way around the 88K. And now a big chunk of mud up. Looks like Ryan Dinning with a flat right front on the eight car, that's gonna end his night. And he, lucky for him, it's show up points. And then Mike Klazinga with a flat left rear at the back in the 93 machine. Tough break for Mike Klazinga here as he's got the left rear down on the 93X. And Mike's teammate Melissa Miller had to pull off the lap before as well with trouble on her car. So things have shaken up at the front as Carl Salt is your leader. Now Scott McPhail running in second, but he's about a straightaway back. Mark Fawcett, another four cars back of him. Then you've got Jim Lampman running in fourth. And fifth right now is the fight between Ken Sargent and Pellrine. Down the back shoot goes the leader, Carl Salt, and he has got a full straightaway lead over second place. Scott McPhail, here they come. It'll be white flag in the air for Carl Salt. Well, if he can hold on for one more lap, we can say he didn't get this one easily. He did it the hard way around the outside of Ryan Binning as he cruises down the back stretch with a straightaway advantage through three and off of corner four for the final time. Checkers go in the air and Carl Salt will take the win. Scott McPhail gonna come across in second. Mark Fawcett will finish third. Lampman fourth in the battle for fifth. Still on the move. Looks like it'll be Pellrine around the outside of Sargent for the top five. So that concludes our features for the affordable towing and recovery. Thunderstocks will bring Dave Bailey down trackside along with Carl Salt as we'll go down to Mobile One Victory Lane. Tommy Gooch will head down there as we get ready to talk to our two Thunderstock winners here tonight. One machine, let's hear it for tonight's winner and send it down trackside with Tommy Gooch. There he is, winner of Thunderstock feature race number two. Carl Salt, Superman, back to Mobile One Victory Lane. First time in a while for you, and uh, you did it around the outside of Ryan Dinning. We were talking about it earlier. Haven't really seen anybody do that this year, but this car was hooked up tonight, wasn't it? Uh, this car was on rails tonight. We tried some new stagger, and it worked out great. <laughs> well, as we mentioned, you passed Ryan Dinning around the outside, and uh, you also took over the points lead on Friday. You've been to uh, championship with the Bomber and the Mini Stock. Is this the year you do it in the Thunderstock? Hey, we're finally getting close to the end of the season, so we'll start looking at the points, and we're hoping to get there this year. Who do you want to thank for getting up here on the front straightaway? Well, i got to thank my uncle for sure. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here. But i also got to thank my sponsor, because if it wasn't for them, it's not this would be possible. i got Brian Baumer. i got Insta Insulation. i got Waltris uh, Lawyers, and Great Lake Breweries, Insight Graphics and Design, and Action Transmission. These transmissions are holding together this year for us. There is. That's Carl Salt, your winner of feature race number two. We'll head over now. We'll talk to Dave Bailey, another driver who you had to fight off Chris Crawford for a while there and then uh, went back to Victory Lane. But it's been a tough last few weeks for you. Must feel good to get back to Victory Lane. Yeah, it's, it's been rough for uh, whatever. We lost the motor and lost the gear and lost the tire. But we had a great night last night, so <laughs> we got two nights in a row, so maybe our luck's turned around. Well, you're still in this championship fight as well. Only show up points tonight, of course, but uh, this getting the car back running and uh, feeling good here at Oshweekin has got to be a victory for you as well. Yeah, it feels better, but uh, I'm pretty sure Carl still has got us beat. We're going to have to do our homework and get better than him somehow. Who do you want to thank for getting up here on the front straightaway, Dave? Um, i got to thank Mark and Cheryl at Jibs. Um, too bad we couldn't do this on their night, but um, we parked it here now for them, so that's cool. Um, Jen and Coop at Club 54, Johnny at Window Works. Um, Oh, and I got to thank Todd Gordon. I'm pretty sure it was him that put up the money for fast time, so we appreciate that. 
There is. That's Dave Bailey, fast timer and feature winner in feature race number one for the Thunderstocks. And Todd Gordon's got the $100 in his hand for fast time. I want to thank Todd very much for putting up that funding. Out of a hand for both of our Thunderstock feature winners here tonight, Dave Bailey and Carl Salt. We got Mac Demand down here. He's your top gun award winner for the Strickland GMC Crate Sprint Cars tonight. And uh, Ackland Insurance puts up that money for the fast timer in the Crate Sprint Cars in their heat race action. Mac, you're winning it all lately. Two feature wins in a row and now 100 bucks in your pocket again from Nathan Ackland. Uh, what do you got for him in this feature? He's starting up front. Yeah, starting pole. Finally got a good redraw. Hoping to just check out and never look back. Uh, thanks to Nathan Ackland for uh, Top Gun Friday and today. Paid for my whole weekend. Uh, Thanks for, to Ethan, and then, uh, thanks to all these awesome fans for coming out here tonight. We know you got to get back there and get strapped in. You're first up after the intermission, but I'm sure you got some people you want to thank for getting you up here again. Uh, Lucas Oil, Remax, Fast Track Performance, everyone who gets his team to the track. Couldn't do it without him. There he is. That's Mac DeMann. He's your top gun winner in the Strickland's GMC Crate Sprint Cars, brought to you by Ackland Insurance. And we'll have our 360 top gun winner here momentarily. Yeah, we're just waiting for Dave Dykstra to make his way to the front stretch. He was the winner of the Cool Kids Core Pack Sprint Car, Nathan Ackland Insurance Top Gun Award. 